so you you spent a lot of time in the tropics. I'm wondering if you've ever tried kopi luwak in yeah. in Indonesia. I, I I traveled to Sumatra. I don't know many years ago. And I was, yeah, I had a chance to taste this. And for the listeners who aren't familiar with Kopi Luwak, maybe can you explain how it's, oh, yeah. how it's produced? Sure, sure, sure. So this, this coffee is famous because it's eaten by the civet, which is like a cat in Indonesia. And so afterwards, after it's passed through its digestion, they collect those beans and make that out of, uh, make that into a very uh, high price coffee. Um, that what what the argument being that as it passes through the digestive tract of the animal, it gets fermented and it becomes even more rich. There's also another one called a black ivory coffee, hmm. which is the same pr principle, but fed to elephants. So yeah, Ooh. so you can yeah, so that that's another one. Um, I have tried Kapi Luwak. I was just in Bali um, a few months ago. Uh, my wife's from Singapore. I've lived in Singapore for years, so I love that part of the world. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah, the Kopi Luwak is uh, it's very um, delicious. It's rich. I mean, I wouldn't be able to to like pull it out of a like a blind taste test of different types of coffee. But it's um, uh, I, I have tried it. You, you have to try it if you're uh, <laughs> if you're uh, if you're bold and curious and you will like coffee. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is interesting. It's kind of like, yeah, you're getting it from the end part of this digestive process. But in a way. I guess it's you're really using the microbiota and the acidity of the animal's, you know, digestive tract, the stomach to strip off those that mucilage that you mentioned earlier in the episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. around the mm -hmm. coffee. It also kind of uh, tr tr triggers uh, enzymes present already in the bean because the beans are living things as well, and they start mm -hmm. to activate themselves and degrade themselves, and this also plays into the chemistry because those degradation products. Uh, uh, from that are stored there for the little embryo to grow, they can also, uh, uh, when roasted, they make all some really interesting nutty and uh, interesting. toasted and toasted flavors in there as well. Nice.